The first boss in Halls of Lightning is General Bjorn. He patrols around the first room and is followed by two adds, Stormforge Lieutenants. These mobs have an arc weld ability and more importantly heal the boss if they're kept alive. General Bjorn periodically casts an electrical charge which increases all damage done by himself and surrounding mobs by 30% so make sure to pull him when he's not charged. The boss is basically a warrior and he swaps between battle, defensive, and berserker stance. When in battle stance his attack speed is increased by 25% and he just uses a normal attack as well as the cleave ability. In berserker stance all of his damage done is increased by 25% and he uses both mortal strike and whirlwind. While he's in defensive stance all damage taken is decreased by 25% and he uses spell reflect, intercepts the party members standing at a distance distance, and also pummels and erupting spellcasting. The second boss Vulcan is a tank and spank, and every 20% he runs to his anvil and casts the ability Temper, summoning adds. These molten golems cast Immolate on enemies, and when they're killed they become frozen in place. Once Vulcan has used Temper multiple times and he's summoned many adds, he'll cast Shattering Stomp which will detonate the frozen molten golems in place, dealing damage to the enemies around them. Most groups will avoid killing the molten golems in order to get the heroic achievement Shatter Resistant. INR has three different abilities, he'll cast a ball of lightning towards an enemy which will deal damage to that target and additional damage to those nearby in a small radius. He also periodically casts static overload on random party members who need to avoid standing by others to reduce the amount of damage done to the group. Lastly at 50% he casts Disperse which summons a bunch of balls of lightning which everyone needs to run away from and wait for them to despawn. These lightning balls can't be damaged or destroyed. The last boss Loken has three different abilities which are designed to create sheer chaos to your group. Throughout the fight you'll need to stack on the boss, then you'll need to be 20 yards away from the boss, and additionally he has a debuff that has the chance to affect others within 10 yards of the initial target. His first ability, Pulsing Shockwave, deals damage to everyone in the room every tick. The further away from the boss you are, the more damage you'll take, so everyone should stack on the boss. He follows up this ability with Lightning Nova, a 5 second cast time which deals nature damage to everyone within 20 yards of the boss. And thirdly he casts Arc Lightning throughout the fight which deals initial damage as well as having the chance to spread to anyone within 10 yards of the affected target. So throughout the fight you'll want to spread apart from party members as much as possible. 